Praise God and thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you. Hey, viewers, thank you for tuning in to Seeing the Impossible Faith Center. My name is Pastor Greg Marilla. Uh, I feel very honored and I feel privileged when you uh, turn on these videos and watch them and hear the word and the voice of God coming from here to you, wherever you at. Praise the Lord. Uh, it is uh, January 31st, 2017. Uh, we're only so many far. Oh, wait a minute. It's, uh, it is? Oh, December? I don't know where I'm at, but I'm here. <laughs> so it is December 31st. My wife just corrected me, my lovely wife. So it is about four minutes to 12. Praise the Lord. Pretty soon it'll be Happy New Year, but 12 in the afternoon, not 12 midnight. So another 12 hours and we'll get there. Praise the Lord. I know what you're saying. He's a confused little character, isn't he? No, I'm not. Praise God. I'm just excited because we were praising and worshiping God and hearing the voice of the Lord speak to us, imparting wisdom into us. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs 4, 7, that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, in all you're getting, get wisdom and understanding. Praise the Lord. Amen. With that said, we're going to bow our heads and close our eyes, and we're going to break away from the ordinary. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Gracious Father, we come before you in the name of your Son. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to open up our ears to hear the spiritual words that's going to come out of this pulpit. Father God, we also ask you to open up the heart of our eyes so that we can see and receive. Praise the Lord, and then go release your word in Jesus' name. And all God's people say amen and amen. And let's give God a wonderful applause. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and tell them it's time to embrace your journey. Praise the Lord. It's time to embrace your journey. Amen. Amen. Well, with that said, uh, let's go to the word. Let's go to Exodus. Praise the Lord. That's Exodus chapter 15. That's where we're at today. Exodus 15. And we'll read uh, from, uh, let's read verse 1 and 2. Praise God. The song of the seed composed by Moses. This is the song of the seed composed by Moses. Praise the Lord. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord and, and speak, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders have he thrown into the sea. Who's that? Pharaoh's people. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. I wish I had someone to say that with me. The Lord is my strength and song. And he has become my salvation. He is my God. And I will prepare him in a habitation. My father God and I will exalt him. Today I'm reading out of a King James Bible. Praise the Lord. A pronounced King James. Now I want you to, if you're taking notes, I want you to see, I want to, uh, um, I want to articulate a little bit about verse 1 and 2. And, and because this, this here is uh, the, one of the first Psalms, I know it's in the book of Exodus, but it's also a Psalm. It's one of the first Psalms in the Bible at a key moment. Praise the Lord. And, and their history, and the Israelites' history, praise the Lord. The Hebrew people created, created songs. The, the Hebrew people always was known to be praising and worshiping the Father. Praise God. Amen. That's one thing they've been taught. They've been taught. You know, that's something that we Christians are missing. We don't know how to praise the Father. We don't know how to worship the Father. Well, the Hebrew people create songs like this one to show respect to God and great works and his great works. So when you praise God, you know what you're doing, uh, Deacon Roaring? You're showing respect to God and, and because of his great work. You're honoring God for who he is and what he has done for you. Praise the Lord. And, and that's a powerful statement when he says in verse 2, The Lord is my strength and song. And he became my salvation. Now that, that word salvation there in the Hebrew is he's my prosperer, my prosperity. 
He's my health. He's my shalom. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He's my salvation. Praise God. If he's for me, who can be against me? I can do all things through him who strengthened me. Praise the Lord. That's why he said, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. See? And then if you want to get a little more technical in Psalms, I think it's Psalm. Let's go to Psalm 118, folks. Psalm 118. Psalm, the book of Psalms. Uh, Psalm. 118, very good, Psalm 118, verse 14, verse 14, there it is, okay, and maybe we can read 15, yeah, we'll read 15 also, yeah, but let's read 14, when you're there, give me an amen, please, thank you, the Lord is my strength, and song, and, it, and is become my salvation. Praise the Lord. I want you to write that uh, text. I want you to write that down in your, in your book. It's important. This is a good, good form of meditation. Praise the Lord. This is a good way to open up in prayer. The Lord is always giving us a new song. Praise the Lord. It's all right to sing the old songs, but when he gives us a new song, it's because he's got something new for us to do. Praise the Lord. The Lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation. And then in verse 15, he says, the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteousness. Excuse me, tabernacle of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth vigilantly. So what that means, the right hand talks about the power of the Lord. Amen? Amen. The strength of the Lord. There is strength in his right hand. Praise God. So if you need strength, you need to ask God to strengthen you with his right hand. To give you strength from his right hand. To give you strength from his right hand. It's got to sink in. Yeah, we, we, we just... Uh, Lord, give me strength from your right hand. And that will give you power. Praise the Lord to be able to allow you to do what you need to do. Praise the Lord. If the truth be known, some days we feel so weak that we, you know, that it wasn't for the grace of God or the mercy of God, we will give up. But I'm trying to show you principal keys that you can use to strengthen your life. So the first thing is, the Lord is your strength and your new song, and your song. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Come on now. The Lord is my strength and my song. This is a New Living Translation. The Lord is my strength and my song. Look what he gives me in the New Living Translation. He has given me victory. Victory. So victory is already inside of me. Praise the Lord. I speak to the, that, that, that pain right now that is trespassing you mentally, and I, t and I speak to that, to, the, to that brain and that mind right now, and I tell it, no more battleground, but playground in Jesus' name. Let it become a playground and not a battleground in Jesus' name. The Lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation. In other words, he's given me Pastor V, he's given me victory. Victory, praise the Lord. Victory, praise the Lord. Victory, praise the Lord. You should say it with me, victory. Whatever you confess and decree is going to come to pass. But we're so used to, hey, I can't do that. I don't have. Stop that. Victory, praise the Lord. I have victory, praise the Lord. 
You're going to have to, you are the one that have to turn on the pilot in your boiler. Praise the Lord, all right? Ignite the fire inside of you. I can't do it for you. You got to do that for yourself. So if you wonder why you are stuck where you at, because you lost your oomph, like the Jew says. Don't lose your oomph. All right, turn it on. Turn on the fire of the Lord. God doesn't want you cold or warm or lukewarm. He wants you hot. He wants you on fire for him. Praise the Lord. That's how he receives you in, in his tabernacle. Praise the Lord. So tell the Lord that he is your strength. Lord, you're my strength. And tell him to put a new song in your heart. Put a new song in my heart. Put a new song. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Praise the Lord. And it's time for us to sing a new song. Amen. We got to be like the Hebrews, like the Jews. They will create songs because they wanted to show respect to God. And they wanted to thank him for his great work. Can anyone here right now sincerely think of something good God did for you in 2017? Praise the Lord. Amen. God's done something good for you. But you know what it is? Because of life and what it gives us and it deals, the deck of cards that it deals us daily, you know, we, we think we're like subject to that. We're not. Praise the Lord. Because right here in Exodus 15 and in Psalm 118, he tells us that the Lord's strength is my song. Praise the Lord. So you can sing praises to his name. You can say how great thou art. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on, say it with me. The Lord is my strength. It's like David was saying in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my victory. Ah, oh, glory to God. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my health. The Lord is my prosperity. Praise the Lord. The Lord, the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> okay? Now, in Isaiah, go to Isaiah. Go to Isaiah chapter 12. <coughs> Isaiah chapter 12. In the book of Isaiah chapter 12, I've had believers or Christian brothers and sisters tell me, Ah, Pastor, I like just staying in one place. And I said, you're too lazy. That's your problem. God likes you to get up and go. Amen? How are you going to learn this word if you just stay in one place? You know, you, you, you like the word, stand still. Oh, they clap to that. But when, when they hear the Lord say, put it into action. It's time to go forward. They don't like that one. <laughs> oh, I want to stay here. And in Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2, it says, Behold, behold, God is my salvation. Behold, that's a new song you're singing right now. Behold, God is my salvation, semicolon. I will trust, comma, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength in my song. Oh, Jesus, praise the Lord. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. And then he says, he also is become my salvation. So you, that's in the King James, in the King James. In the New Living Translation, in the New Living Translation, it reads like this. See, God has come to save me, salvation. I will trust in him and not be afraid. New song. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. The same thing he said in Psalm 118 verse 14. In the New Living Translation, he's saying it to us here in Isaiah 12 verse 2. The key here is the Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Praise the Lord. We're going to end this, this year in victory. Praise the Lord. And understanding that we're going to make it in 2018 because the Lord is my strength. Praise the Lord. And once again, if the Lord is my strength, praise the Lord, I can do all things through Him. 
because it's not my strength. Look, look, that's why he says here in Isaiah 12, I will trust in him and not be afraid. The problem with us, we've been trusting in our own understanding and, we, and we've been walking around uh, like a scary cat. We don't know what we're doing. What we're, everybody, do this with me right now. <laughs> Very good. We just did that to Satan. There you go. No more. So the Lord, God is my strength. My God, I love you, Lord. The Lord, God is my strength. The Lord, God is my strength. The Lord, if I feel weak, I got to get strength from somewhere. Where do I go get it? I'll get me a genie. I'll rub the lamp. No, dummy. That don't work that way. Your name is not Nelson. I dream of genie. A lot of guys out there looking like this. Going, <laughs> She's a nice looker, you know. <laughs> no! <laughs> Rory. The Lord is your strength. Praise the Lord. And, and then he says, listen, look what he says to make sure that we understand. He says, oh, Patty, the Lord my God. The Lord God. Thank you, son. The Lord God is my strength. The Lord God is my strength. Where do you get your strength from? From the Lord. From the Lord my God. How do you do, how do, you do the things you do? The Lord my God. I wish I had a witness here. I wish I had somebody say I receive and I believe and because I receive, I believe, that allows me to succeed instead of analyzing what's going on. Say, I believe, I, believe. I, receive. I receive, so that means I will succeed because of what I believe. And what am I believing? I'm trusting in him. I'm not going to be afraid for 2018. I'm not, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. You're going to always have bills. You can get out of debt, but you can, and you will if you want to. It may take you a while, so enjoy the journey. But with God, all things are possible. If you keep trusting in the Lord, then you'll get there before you, when you open up your eyes one day, you'll say, oh my God, I'm not there anymore. How many of us can say that right now from the past? We're no longer in the past. Some of us are no longer in Jersey. Some of us are no longer in Michigan. Some of us are no longer in New York. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. We're in Florida, y'all. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Either you like it or not, you're gone southern. Praise God. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. So Exodus 15, verse 2, and Psalm 118, verse 14. Isaiah 12, verse 2. He's encouraging you to lift your eyes up to the hill. Go to Psalm 121. <clears throat> Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Psalm 121, 121, I'm sorry. Psalm 121, verse 1. And I heard the old Catholic deacon say, bingo. And the other person said, that was his name. <laughs> All right. And let's see where we get our strength from. Let's see where we get our help from. Come on, somebody. Praise you. Thank you, Father. He's awesome. He's, let me tell you, son, we haven't even read Exodus 15 yet. <laughs> and, we're, and he's got us going so many places. Let me tell you something. This year, in 2018, I feel the presence of the Lord right now. Stop trying to fight your fight. He told me, he told you already, through, through this pulpit, he has told you, stop trying to fight the fight. He told you already, he's He's the one who fights your fight. In Exodus 14, he told us to be still 
and that he was going to fight our fight. And he told us to see the salvation of the Lord. Your job, your job is to put what he said, are you listening to me? Your job is for you to put into action what he says. That's your job. You know what God requires from you, Pastor V and everybody here? Obedience. That's his requirement from us. Obey him. If you obey me, he said, you will eat the good of the land. But you got to be willing. Not a, not a lot of us are willing. we rather obey ourselves or what we think is right. Can I get a witness? I, well, you know, that's good for you, but see. And then, then, you want, then, then they wonder why they go through so much dumb. Did I say it right, Daddy Don? Dumb. <laughs> okay? Dumb. Every day. Dong this, dong that. <laughs> D-O-N-G, dong. Just in case you're confused with my, because of my accent. Praise the Lord. I look up to the mountains. I look up to the hill. Does my help come from there? And look what it says. Verse 2. My help come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Praise the Lord. And then he says, he will not let me stumble. The one who watches over me and you will not slumber. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Rolo, for receiving it. Thank you. He's going to take care of this. We're going to be fine. Just have trust in him, like he said in Isaiah. He said, put your trust in me. Why don't you trust me? Why don't you trust me? What? You, you, you don't trust me. Why? I've given you everything you need. Trust me. Trust me. I've given you everything you need. Indeed, he who watches over Israel, that's us spiritually, never slumber or sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stand beside you as your protective shade. He protect you. Just like the Israelite when he used the cloud to, the, to protect us from the enemy. And the cloud became a shield in the daytime from the crucial sun in the desert. And then the cloud at night became an LED light. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. And they were not in darkness. Why? Because the Lord is their strength. And the Lord became their song. Praise the Lord. Amen? Now go to Exodus. Go back to Exodus. I can't read all that right now. The Lord is telling me to get out of here. But go to Exodus 15. The Holy Spirit is. Exodus 15. And I want to be obedient to him. Exodus 15. I had a Jew tell me, you're already crazy, but you're a good crazy. You got bad crazy and you got good crazy. You're a good crazy. He said to me, you're a good egg. I said, thank you. Let me tell you something. When you got a Jew blessing you, you better receive it. Prosperity's coming. Amen. Praise the Lord. From the top of my head to the sole of my feet. And if it's on me, it'll be on you. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So I said, keep, 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 keep blessing, keep blessing. Go get the hishba and keep blessing. <laughs> Go get the plant and plead the blood. <laughs> Put it on my doorpost. Come on, come on. Praise the Lord. Exodus 15. I got to go back there. Lord, forgive me. 15 verse 3. Then he says, the Lord is a warrior. That's New Living Translation. I love doing this to you guys. One minute he's in the King James, the next minute he's in the New Living Translation. Well, I wish he make up his mind. You varmint. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. The Lord is my warrior, and his name is Yahweh. Yaha Vaha. Hope I'm saying it right. He is his name. Now, King James. <laughs> I love it. The Lord is a man of war. Wow. The Lord is a man of... How can... Why would he say the Lord is a man of war? 
Because God himself is revealing himself as a warrior. Now you see why I go to New Living Translation? But not everybody understands that. So they'll take interpretation and interpret it their own way. Everybody say this with me. Say it with me, please. See. See. Do you see? <laughs> see. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> The Lord is, <laughs> I'm telling you, the Lord is a man of war. Wow. What's he saying with this? I need, a, I need understanding, Roro. I need understanding. In your conflict between you and the world, you and your enemy, between you and your Egypt, God will reveal himself to you as a warrior. And he will fight your fight if you allow him. Because your arms are too short to, to box with God. Let God, let God fight your fight. Let God fight your fight. Let God fight your fight. Exodus 14. Go to 14. Let's see if I gotta find it. 14, 14, 14. Go to 14. It's around 20 something. 14, go to 20. And Moses, okay, that's cool. And then Moses goes down again. And I'm trying to in the Lord. Okay, 23, 21, okay, came to morning and 25. Here it is 25. Exodus 14, 25. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto I can hear. Cause God is great. He's worthy to be praised. God is Shalom. Did you hear it? And he took off their chariot wheels that they drove them heavily so that the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fighting for them against the Egyptian. Okay? Any questions? You ain't got none. Harry's not here today, so no questions. <laughs> praise the Lord. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come into the new year praising the Lord. The Lord is just streaming your song. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord, and write this down, the Lord is a man of war. Wow, praise the Lord. Where'd you get that from? From Exodus 15, verse 3. You just told me that you're going to be with the word. So stop contradicting the word. Exodus 15, verse 3. And then Exodus 14, 25 shows us that we're correct. Okay? In the conflict, in your conflict between your Egyptians, your, your, your enemy. Come on, how many of us have, some of you may have conflicts financially. Some of you may have co uh, conflicts health-wise. Oh, God, man, I wish I had some people. Ah. Okay, I hear it. I just saw... Uh, we, we have that picture that says, relax, God is in control. All right, God, thank you. Praise the Lord. Ah. Sing unto the Lord a new psalm. <laughs> Sing unto the Lord, all ye earth, 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 earth. I sound like a dog up here. Earth, earth. I like being sad, Pastor. I like being not happy. <laughs> I like carrying all these luggages. Just call me a bellhop boy. <laughs> I like it. There you go. Amen. Thank you, Dad. In the midst of your conflict, whatever that conflict is, God will reveal himself as a warrior. Some of you don't even understand or believe it. I wish I had somebody that would receive it. I wish I had somebody say, God will fight my fight. 
God will protect me from every evil thing that tries to come against me. God will protect me from every evil thing. Let go of my finances. Get your hands off my health. Get your hands off my mind. I will not be sad. I will be healthy, happy, and prosperous. Because the Lord is my strength and my song. Now, good. Now that you say that, go to uh, Psalm 23. Come on, Psalm 23. If I can close up. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for that picture, Lord. Relax. God is in control. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> glory, glory. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. I sing praises to his name. I sing praises to his name. Oh, Lord. I sing praises. See, I'm putting a new song in my heart. That's not a new song. That's an old song. But it's new to me. This is the first time I'm singing it. December 31st, 2017 at 1226. I sing praises to his name. Oh, Lord. I sing praises to his name, O Lord, for his name is great and worthy to be praised. Oh, yes, he is. All right, Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. Somebody say that with me. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. See, you're coming in 2018 strong now. The Lord is my shepherd. Semicolon. I shall not want. Period. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my strength. And my new song. Who I depend on. Who I trust. The Lord. I don't trust in the system. I don't trust in what they say. I trust in what God says. And then verse 2, he maketh me lie, to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still water. Everybody put your hand on your head right now. I'm reading out of King James. He restores my soul. Thank you. He leadeth me in the path of the righteousness for his name's sake. Now say it with me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now you can let go of your soul. You can let go of your mind. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy. And thou anoint my head with oil. And my cup runneth over. My cup runneth over. Come on now, come on now. Say, anoint my head with oil. Anoint my head with oil. Anoint my head with oil. Hallelujah. My cup runneth over. And then he says in verse 6, Surely goodness. Somebody say it with me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. You heard it. And ever, and ever. Amen. 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 Now, everybody go to John, John 14. We're, we're closing up right now. John, I love you. I love you. You're so in tune with the Spirit. John 14, verse 6. You got to get your Bible. Get your Bible on that one. John 14, 6. Because that's per you, you're going into the new year with this scripture. 
John 14, 6. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus, hallelujah. Ooh, Jesus, hallelujah. Ooh, Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. He's worthy to be praised. See, I'm singing a new song. Some of you don't, you're still there. You're still, you're not singing a new song to him. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord and all the earth. <laughs> Sing unto the Lord a new song. And sing unto the Lord and all the earth. For God is great. He's worthy to be praised. God is great. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all ye earth. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord, all ye earth. Bless you, Father. Bless you. John 14, verse 6 says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Viewers, God bless you. Thank you so much for your dedication in the year 2017, watching us, hearing us, learning from us here at Seeing the Impossible Faith Center. I do have something to say to you. The Lord said that your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit. Your body has been redeemed, has been cleansed and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. Every part of your body is an instrument of righteousness. Yield your body to God for his service and for his glory. Let me tell you, son, the devil has no place in your life. He has no power over you. No unsettled claim against you. It all has been settled at the cross of Calvary by the blood of Jesus. You have overcome the enemy. Praise the Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus that 2018 will be the year that you will testify. It will be the year that you will begin to love your life. Oh, my God, and that you will take your body and dedicate it to the Lord. And the Lord is for your body. In Jesus' name, we pray and say amen. God bless you. Happy New Year. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pa, 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 pa.